In this video, we are going to learn about the direction of the frictional force on the wheels of a moving car. And if you refer to this illustration, which is inside your notes, let's take a look at this example here. There's a typical car. And in recent year, O-level, combined physics or pure physics, there are numerous questions on this. And later, we'll go through some of the questions here so that you will know how to solve them. Now, let's take a look at this car here because most of the setting is in the car and it's a typical car and I hope you know that most of the cars on the road in Singapore is actually front wheel drive that means that the wheel here in front is connected to the engine and this is the wheel that's responsible for the forward thrust of the car that you are familiar with then for the back wheel basically you're just dragging the wheel along so it's not connected to the engine so you're dragging it so if you are asked to find, to indicate the direction of the frictional force acting on the wheel, that's referring to the front wheel here because it is rotating, because the car is going to the right. And I hope you understand that the wheel at the front here will rotate, or rather both will rotate clockwise. But because this front wheel is connected to the engine, this is the wheel that is gripping onto the floor and then pulls the whole car forward. Now to give you a better idea, okay, so you can imagine it's like you are crawling on the floor and you're not using your leg to push yourself forward, you're just using your arms. When your arms place on the floor, okay, there's friction and the grip, you grip onto the floor and then you pull your body and the leg, the whole body, the torso forward. So you can imagine that the, the arm there, the forward arm actually grip onto the floor is just like the front wheel of the car that is connected to the engine so therefore the direction of the friction here is to the right and this is actually the thrust force or the forward force of the engine that you always indicate on the car on the other hand okay for the back wheel here like i say it's not connected to the engine you are just rolling it so if once again, if you look at the this analogy here, if your leg is not pushing, you're just dragging your both leg and this, the leg, the friction there is actually, is like a drag, a drag force, like slows you down, make it difficult for you to move forward. So if you understand that, okay, it will be very easy to see that the frictional force is to the left, okay? And another way of seeing it is when I tell students that can you imagine if this is a square wheel instead of a round wheel and you're dragging this, you're pulling it along, then students are very fast to identify that the friction, okay, the drag force is actually to the left. Well, for the front powered wheel, okay, the frictional force, the direction is to the right and that is actually your thrust force. Now that you understand the concept, let's move on to this example here, which is a typical bicycle. And I hope you understand that as you are moving to the right here, okay, both wheels will be rotating clockwise. But as you pedal the bicycle, the chain is connected to the back wheel. So this back wheel is like connected to the so-called engine. So you're gripping onto the floor and then it pushes the whole bike and you forward. That is the thrust force to the right. On the other hand, the front wheel, you're just pushing it and you're just pushing it along and imagine this is a square wheel, you are actually just pushing it and there's a lot of friction and there's a drag slowing you down, okay, making it difficult for you to pedal. So the frictional force is to the left for the front wheel and for the back powered wheel is the direction of the frictional force, which is also known as the thrust, the forward force is to the right. So without further ado, let's go on to the various example here. Let's take a look at the first one here. And it is very, very important for you to read the question carefully. The wheel of a moving car is, this wheel here is actually driven by the engine. So like what I mentioned, it's the wheel that's connected to the engine. That This is the wheel that creates the forward thrust. So, and it's accelerating in the direction. So you know that the car is moving to the left. This wheel has to rotate anti-clockwise. So, so the friction, the thrust here is actually to the left. So the answer is D. Next question here is very similar also. So the car is accelerating to the left and the wheel here is connected. Once again, this center is very important. It's connected to the engine. So the wheel is rotating 
anti-clockwise so the forward thrust is the friction is to the left so the answer is D also so we are basically identical next let's take a look at this question here you are given four options so once again only the front wheels of the car are driven by the engine so they ask you the direction of the frictional force on the front wheel and also on the rear wheels so as mentioned the car is moving to the right the tire both are rotating or are rotating clockwise and the front wheel is connected to the engine so the truss is forward to the right and the back wheel you are just rolling along so the direction of the frictional force on the rear wheels will be to the left okay that's the drag force and for the last example here now for this question they actually give you two choices here the direction of the frictional force on the wheel and versus on the road so if you can recall all this while when we we are talking about the direction of the friction on the wheel so let's stick to that first if the car is moving to the right and this is a front powered because it's mentioned the front wheel is connected to the engine so it's rotating clockwise and this is the wheel that grips onto the floor and move the car forward so the friction on the wheel will be to the right so this will be the case and if you also understand newton's third law action equals to reaction <coughs> so the direction of the friction on the road must be opposite to the left so the answer will be c so with this example i hope you understand the concept of course I mean they can ask you in different ways for example let's say that this is a back wheel they can also ask you what is the direction if this is a back wheel drive so what's the direction of the friction so you will know that if it's a back wheel drive the direction of friction will be forward or I can say that this is a four wheel drive that means to say all the four wheels they are connected to the engine so all the four wheels the frictional force the thrust will be all forward Alright, so it depends on the question, so read the question carefully and hopefully you are able to tackle all these questions.